This this is a, a book summary of Living Untethered, but it's a by Michael Singer, his newest book. But it's a bit of a, a joke because I'm not giving you a summary and it's a bit of a trick. But I do believe that you know, a lot of people when they search for a book summary they, they want a chapter by chapter breakdown. But I would do it differently where I I would just tell you what I remembered from the book and usually what you remember is mostly from near the end because the near the end is the most critical information similarly if you read an article the trick is if you go to the the and you, you can't make your way through the article if you just go to the end of the article you'll you'll get what the article is mostly about the top and the bottom uh, in this case, it's it's not that simple. However, uh, I I've read uh, the the Untethered Soul a few times, and so I'm very familiar with his work. And, and a lot of people by now would be too. He's very popular. And I never read I never read the Surrender Experiment, but I will read it. I mean, they just this this came out. I actually took the the Sounds True course that I think this book was based on because it was almost like uh, exactly a lot of the book was exactly laid out in the same way as that lecture series, which I think was like f five or six or seven videos that were all like an over an hour long. So the so the the summary is do you want to spend your life being held in a kind of hostage or being bound by your fears which for many people come from from past experiences or do you want to spend the rest of your life being free from those fears and so the specific terminology is from the yoga tra tradition which is samskara which are blockages and so a lot of the book is reviewing how how the blockages were formed and some ideas for letting go of them and and um, the the he says something near the end of the book that stuck with me, which is like a practice that someone can go through is like today is devoted to releasing my blockages, and that's in the morning. And then at the end of the day, the you you say today was devoted <laughs> to releasing my blockages. And it's a it's a whole new way of of looking at the world because typically for a lot of us it's it the day to day is like how can I get exactly what I want from everything and everyone around me how can I how can I be right all the time and it's that's not that's not a life of service. And surrender because you are you're clenching to everything and, and everything bothers you and there's no end to what you're seeking so if someone in that way if they they're they think their mission is that they need like a lot of likes on social media they're seeking outside themselves for some kind of um, relief from from the pain of something and then when they get those likes it doesn't they, they might be happy for they had a goal they might be happy for an hour a day may, may, if that and then they're going to go on to their next crisis um, now obviously this book does not <laughs> talk about that that case it just came to my mind because I'm currently recording a video and and when that is being done that activity it's often 
in context with you know the way a lot of the networks work is and a lot of a lot of the ways people approach them is they're seeking kind of maximum um, recognition and and you can't really live like that you have to kind of live what's in a way that's true to you and in this case I know that the, this video could be viewed because of its its title but I'm kind of passing along a lot of the good will that I had learned from from Michael in the in his books and his teachings because I do believe that he is uh, some kind of modern day uh, healer of 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 society. I mean, and I can also often imagine the type of people who would um, just not appreciate what he talks about, and they say oh, it's ho hocus pocus, and that's that's everyone's right to to take or, or discard people's teachings and, and what they're what they're um, what they're all about but I mean it definitely there has been times when when I'm I say to myself um, I'm I'm tired of <laughs> worrying about this or that and we all go through it every day you fix one problem and then you replace it with another and 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 then and sometimes when it becomes too much, you just kind of throw your hands up and you say, I, I'm, "I'm tired. I give up. I don't want any more of this. This this worry." And he gives the analogy of um, a football team. Like you could be playing tug of war with uh, an NFL football team. This is again near the end of the book because I, I don't take notes throughout the the beginning of the books and all of all that I mean actually I did and I could do another video maybe where I, I share some better um, quotes and things I had written down but the this one is that you're playing tug of war with an NFL team well what's the way to win that tug of war and the, the answer is you just let go <laughs> just let it go uh, do you want to take the NFL team home with you? Which, which, is that what you would like? Basically taking all your pain around with you. If you let it go, the NFL, you let your hands physically go, um, the NFL team goes flying back in the other direction. And so that's, that's what you would even have gotten from the original um, Untethered Soul was very much about like, when your stuff comes up at you, and you you and you're ready to um, go berserk and you know get mad at people, and you're just fed up, um, that that's exactly the moment that the work begins, and and that's why you have to read his books because you need to spend the time to take in the lessons of like how do you um, sort of relax the area around the heart and 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 release um, release the 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 pain rather than um, you know I'm um, rather than keep it inside or or bury it <laughs> burying is what we we all do uh, often it's um pick your poison of, of the modern day and it probably for many um, it's probably been human nature for uh, for as long as we've been writing about humans and, and as long as the humans have evolved into the, the, this type of species it's we've always probably had our poison that is a way of, of a means of burying um, the pain but the the teaching in this tradition is is finding a way to to be conscious of it so that you can let go of it and um, I think it's pretty amazing stuff as I said the the takeaway is that like 
he gives you a, a mission like you could have a very simple job in in your life which is to just let go of the blockages and not let them run your life that that could be a very simple simple yet difficult mission um so rather than have a lofty goal of like you know being having millions of dollars in, in a in a yacht um or another goal of like moving jobs or whatever it, like a very a better goal that he suggests is like devoting your energy to releasing the blockages and it is sort of relevant to this goal seeking thing and I, I've talked about it already in this video but like someone might say this job is is awful and I need a new one and that that is often <laughs> that's not far-fetched um, in the world of, of, of work however the the challenge to you is like how can you not let the externals that that bother you um, how can you work through that on your own and like that's just one example like how you, and I think makes me think of the the advice or whatever that says how you do one thing is how you do everything and so um, the book talks about the low-hanging fruit so how you deal with a traffic jam um, you can start there how you deal with the weather start there that's the low-hanging fruit and then move up a level with with some of the people that you that you maybe deal with and that's why the job thing is relevant to that discussion um, you're kind of building up uh, resilience to different situations and then um, you're you're kind of working towards what they would call enlightenment but he doesn't he doesn't want people to to do that because he, i guess if you live in those and you breathe in those circles that he's in people probably spend their life to enlightenment and they become um monastery types and always at retreats and like that's their form of enlightenment but he's not really he doesn't want that from people because that can also be a, a big disappointment like to always be seeking that the he says the much easier task or much more realistic thing is 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 not permanent um bliss and untethered life um it's really just kind of chipping away at at the blockages and working through your pain those are much easier places to start i think the the insinuation is is that as you get better at 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 these things you do probably reach states of of enlightenment because you're not you're not being pushed around like a beach ball um the way some people are and they have people who have no control over emotions and their what any types of direction can happen from from no control um it's a much better place to to be in when you can stay centered and um aware of <laughs> like okay i don't need to get sucked into all these people's dramas and um and then it's a bit of a balance too it's like not avoiding um dramatic people or avoiding social situations you know you you go out you enjoy your life you do th you know you can, you're trying to find you're trying to dial in the perfect balance of like seeing immersing yourself being around all kinds of people and then um balancing that with like uh, just letting letting things go um, you know comes in one one eye goes out the other and so I really recommend the book it's I think there was a lot of copies given to the library 
I know that was the case in, in Toronto. And every, every time I read the book, I'll, I'll reread it before I return it. Um, but every time I've reread the Untethered Soul many times, every time I, I read them, um, I'm very thankful. And he, he even thanks people at the end of his book for, for reading his, his work because he's, he knows that if someone's made it to the end of their, his book, that they're really um, intent on improving um, themselves and, and the people who are improving themselves and their personal um, inner dialogues and, and networks, they, they will go off and, and change the world because you're collectively building a society where people are respectful and you know respecting the earth and respecting each other if you if you're um reaching a level of health and and wellness on the inside so um yeah i hope you hope you read this book um living living untethered beyond the human predicament by michael a singer and he is actually called mickey um, I know he said that once. That's his like childhood name. Uh, so thank you, Mickey, and um, keep doing great work. So, all right, take care.